I'm Ian Baker with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the all-new Keystone Cougar 367 FLS. It's a beautiful front living room fifth wheel. Let's head on up and we'll take a look. So let me start by saying this is a beautiful RV. Uh, they've done a lot of things right here in Cougar. You can take a look around, see the nice appointments. You have the crown molding up top. You see they have the wood strips going across rather than your standard white ones. In this front living room floor plan, generally you have to get into a, a high profile, what they call a full profile fifth wheel to be able to get this set up. But Cougar has managed to do it in a mid profile. And as you will see, I still have plenty of leg room or head room here, you know, right up until I get up next to the TV. And just for a frame of reference, I'm about six foot. So great space up here. You don't have to worry about hitting your head or anything when you're standing up. Let's take a look up front though. Uh, with something else that they have done, something again you just don't see in a mid profile is this beautiful front window. Uh, for picture quality, I do have it shut. I'll open it up real quick here just to give you uh, a quick look outside. This one is, uh, it does have the roller shade there, so it's nice and easy to use, but a uh, beautiful view out the front. Let's in a ton of natural light as well. And one of the things I like is that they have a TV right here that folds down. So, you know, if you, if you want the light, you don't want to watch TV, you have it like it is right now. If you decide, you know what, it's later at night, have some people coming over, you want to kick back and relax, there's a button right here. It's nice and easy. You can see the TV lift up just like that. Nice big 50 inch TV. So huge TV so everyone around is able to see it. On both sides you have this decorative glass. You'll see you have good storage there as well. A shelf that is already built in. And then you have additional storage right beneath that. And right here in the center are some more great features. Starting off right here with the multimedia center. This unit is your radio, CD, and DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie it's already built in, just throw it in right there and you can watch it on your nice 50 inch. Uh, this unit is Bluetooth capable and it does control the speakers both inside as well as the ones outside. Right underneath that, take a look at that fireplace. It's a huge fireplace. Uh, the thing I really like about this, one is it's uh, very aesthetically pleasing. You know, you turn this on, it has a great look to it, it's very welcoming. But the other thing I really like is it's also functional. That essentially is a big space heater. So on those cold mornings or the, you know, chilly nights, you don't want to turn on your propane. You can just turn this on, it'll do a good job of taking the chill off in this space. One of the other things you'll notice is how open and spacious it is up here. That's because you have dual opposing slides really opening this space up. The other great thing is in both slides, they were able to put trifold sofas. Uh, these trifolds are the Thomas Paine collection. Not only are they extremely comfortable to sit on, but they also make very comfortable beds. And they're easy to make up. All you have to do is remove your cushions right here. And then the bottom part, you just grab that. This folds right out like so. You'll see you have a couple uh, legs right here. You will just pull those out, drop this down, and then the back cushion right here comes down as well. And then this is what your guests get to sleep on. You can see that there's great foam here. It's nice and comfortable. That way your guests aren't going to hate you in the morning. They're not going to have a sore back from having the bar in the back or, you know, have to sleep on an air mattress that's going to deflate. Nothing like that. And then it is just as easy to go ahead and put that away. The other thing you'll notice is you have windows all the way around here. They have the nice uh, wood louvers on there and they're, they're very easy to open and close. Plus, I think they look great. It uh, helps accent a lot of the colors in here. And obviously, it also lets in a lot of natural light during the day. Then right across the way, this is the best seat in the house. This is your theater seating. And again, I love that they were able to get this floor plan. You generally don't see this in a mid profile, but this is directly across from the TV, the best seat in the house. Both of these recline, extremely comfortable. You have dual cup holders here, and then you have this little center compartment for, you know, your remotes and things like that. You'll see right behind, you have this nice little shelf here. Uh, you know, we put some decor on there, it looks great. Uh, right over to the side, you have your thermostat there. Uh, you also will notice you have an electrical outlet, so if you need to plug in any electronics, cell phones, things like that, it's a great place for them to charge. And then right next to that is your max air fan control. Uh, this unit does have a max air fan with a rain sensor in the kitchen area. We'll take a look at that in just a bit. 
So as soon as you walk into 367, you have this right here, and I really like this. You know, it allows uh, you to put some nice little decorations here and make it feel very home-like, very residential. But you'll also notice right over here you have some outlets, so it is functional as well. You have a standard outlet here as well as a dual USB port, so again, you can plug in different electronics there. Directly underneath, you have great storage. You can see that. And the thing I like about this is it's multi-use. You know, if you want to put dishes in here, you can do that. Um, you know, if you want to use the one here for a place to put your shoes when you walk in, you know, you can kick your shoes off, put them right in there, whatever you want to use it for, but it is uh, good, versatile storage right there. Along the side, we have a couple things. You have uh, this right here, which is your Cougar Camp. This is a nice, handy little remote. You can see right here, you can control a lot of things from your outside lights, your leveling, your slides, uh, all of that can be controlled right here, your awning as well. Even your TV you can control from this remote. So the neat thing about that is, again, you can put this in that little center console in your theater seating. You don't have to get up. You can just use the button to raise and lower the TV. Uh, it is just a, a really handy thing to be able to have. Directly underneath that, you have your main control panel. This is everything from your tank monitoring system, your water heater. Uh, one of the things you will notice is that this unit has a DSI water heater, and it does run off both electric and propane. You can turn both of those on at the same time for faster recovery. Your lights are on here as well, as, and your uh, slide room and awning control is there too. Let's move over a little bit further. We'll move into the kitchen. Beautiful kitchen in this floor plan. Generally, this is one of the big fallbacks of having your front living room is that, you know, the kitchen space isn't very workable, again, especially in a mid-profile, but that is not the case here. Look at all of this space you get. Beautiful solid surface countertops in the Cougar 367. You'll see you have a recessed cooktop here, as well as your undermount sink with the sink top cover. So again, you're able to utilize these as prep space too. This cover does fold up uh, in back nice and easy, just like this. Then the glass kind of acts like a backsplash. This is really easy to clean here. You see the three burner cooktop with the front one being high output, and then directly underneath is your oven in case you want to do some baking. Right underneath that, you'll see some additional storage right there. Nice little extra storage area. It's pretty deep. And then moving over a little bit, you have a bank of four drawers. Take a look at that. Nice usable drawers here. You see it has your silverware divider already built in, uh, but full extension ball bearing drawers, and plenty of space for your silverware, your uh, you know larger utensils like your knives, spatulas, serving spoons. You need to put pot holders and stuff in there. You have plenty of room. Finishing out the storage underneath, right over here, it's a nice spot for some of your pots and pans. You know you you have a good deep storage right over there. Then if you take a look over to the side, one of the things I like here is look. You have plenty of room here for a smaller trash can. A lot of times manufacturers will put a shelf in there, and I hate when they do that because, again, it doesn't give you that space. They did not do it here, uh, so you have a dedicated spot there. Then right over here, again, some additional storage. So we make our way back up a little bit further. Let's take a quick look at the sink. So as I mentioned, it does have a sink top cover. This is cutting board quality. You want to flip it over, use, as a, use it as a cutting board. You can certainly do that. Double bowl undermount sink. Uh, kind of a nice modern sink here. You'll see it's almost zero radius in the corners, which means you can put a glass right here in the corner and it's not going to slide to the center, so the entire sink here is usable. But being double bowl makes it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes, especially with the high-rise pull-out faucet. Again, kind of a modern, clean look to it. You have the backsplash right here, just kind of giving it you know, that extra little look and appeal. And then right over here, you have the nice large window to let in some natural light. As we move up, oversized microwave. Take a look at that. Huge microwave here. So, you know, if you have larger items you need to stick in there, you easily uh, can accomplish it with this microwave here. And then storage all the way across the top. You know, you have to have spots for some of your pant or, uh, pantry space for your food, your dishes, things like that. This one, the top shelf is a little bit tougher to reach. You probably will need a step stool to get up there. But at least they did utilize the space. They didn't waste it. You'll see you have the crown molding here on top of the cabinets, again, giving it that high-end residential look. And then you also have the backlighting there, uh, again, you know, just adding to that appeal. You'll see all the great storage right over here. And they have the wood uh, panel cabinets. Then over here, they went to the decorative glass, again, helping break it up a little bit. 
and you can see more storage right in there. If we take a look across the way, you have to have a spot to eat. This is where you will do it. You have four chairs right here. You have a little pop-up leaf if you need it for some extra room. Uh, the chairs themselves, they do have storage underneath. You can see that right there. It's nice and easy. Just lift that cushion up and that'll give you that additional storage. Uh, windows here, a couple big windows to let in that natural light, as well as three LED lights up top to make sure that it's nice and bright while you are eating at night. This is a really cool feature. Uh, you know, you don't have to have this on. Uh, whoops, this one right here, you can turn it off if you want. But I really like this. I think it's cool. They, they lit up the fascia right there in this slide. Again, just giving it that really nice look and uh, aesthetic. Right over here, the fridge freezer. This is the Medic 12 cubic foot fridge freezer. Uh, this one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. But one of the things I love about it is the front. Uh, it kind of has like this almost matte uh, pattern on here and if you, you can kind of see it I don't know if you can pick it up in camera or not but the thing I really like about this is it doesn't show fingerprints you know everyone wants the stainless steel look or you know the the shiny black and while yes it looks great when it's clean it's impossible to keep clean this it's super easy I can touch it all day you won't see any fingerprints it's practically maintenance free then when we open this guy up take a look at that you know, again, a mid-profile like this, most RV manufacturers are going to give you an 8 cubic foot. Here we have a 12, plenty of space. You have taller items. This does come out, so you have, uh, you know, room there for a 2 liter or, you know, half gallon of orange juice or milk, something like that. Uh, definitely a great option right there. So we take a look at the bathroom, you'll see there are two entrances and exits. One into your main living area, the other one directly into the master bedroom. In between the two is your foot flush lever toilet. You'll see it's a porcelain bowl, so it's nice and easy to clean as well. And you will also notice you have plenty of leg room. Straight in front of that is your sink top and vanity. Nice big sink here, so you know it's uh, easy to use. You can wash your hands without water splashing everywhere, brush your teeth. You see you have plenty of uh, additional space for you know uh, your bottle of soap, things like that. Electrical outlet right over here to the side if you need to plug in hair dryer, curling iron, whatever else. Underneath you have some additional storage here as well. Also directly up above you will see you have a mirrored medicine cabinet. Good storage behind that, nice and deep. Couple extra lights there for your vanity as well. Then right over here is your Neo Angle shower. So uh, one of the great things about this, about having a front living, is the bathroom sets back a little more, meaning you have a ton of headroom. Far too often, you know, if you're a tall person, you go to get in the shower and it's super tiny. Not the case here. I'll step in just to kind of give you an idea. I'm a fairly decent sized guy. I can move around in here, you know, nice and freely. I'm not gonna, I don't feel like I'm closed in or claustrophobic. There's the hand wand there to make it nice and easy to shower. A couple of shelves there too. And the skylight right up top, which does help bring in a lot of natural light during the day. Then over to the side here, you have this beautiful linen closet. You see you have storage up top as well as uh, the shelf right here with an electrical outlet and then additional storage right down below. One of the things you will notice is tucked away right in here, you do have your washer prep. So if you want a, a washer, this is where it would go. The bedroom of the 367 has a slide out bed, making this a very spacious bedroom. You can see the queen bed right here in the slide and take a look at the storage underneath. You have massive storage here. It is strut assisted, so it's nice and easy uh, to lift it up as well as drop it back down. Both sides have a window, so it lets in a lot of natural light there. You can also get a nice breeze coming in. You see you have a LED light up top, storage all the way across the top there as well. You do have an electrical outlet down here, so if you need to plug in a CPAP machine or charge a cell phone at night, that is a great place to do it. Right over here on the wall, you'll see you also have a second entrance. I really like this because if you do have guests that are staying the night on your trifold sofas up front, maybe you're going to bed earlier or later or same thing with waking up, you can exit or enter the camper without disturbing your guests. Right next to that, up top here, you have a 32 inch TV. You'll see it is, uh, you know, boxed in. They have this nice looking surround on there again with the crown molding on top. Just, you know, showing you that uh, the nice appeal that it has here. The window right underneath the TV. And then you also have uh, your dresser right here. You have a couple of drawers up top. 
some larger ones right here underneath. These are nice and deep too, so you can stack the clothes in there pretty high. You also have an electrical outlet over here. You know, if you use a standard alarm clock or again, if you want to put your cell phone up here and use that as an alarm clock, you can do that too. Uh, it's a good place to plug it in. Right over to this side here is your wardrobe, mirrored wardrobe. You have mirrors on both doors. You'll see the nice big uh, hanging rod going across there. And then you have big additional storage right underneath. I really like this because you can use it, you know, maybe for like two different clothes hampers. If you have dirty clothes, you know, kind of his and hers, if you will. And, you know, just a couple different places in which you can uh, throw those there. And then right here in the back, you have an additional window again for that natural light and the cross breeze. Another thing I do want to point out is on the ceiling here, this one does have a second AC. It is equipped with two. So if you're staying somewhere where it's hot, it will make sure you're nice and cool. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the all new Cougar 367 FLS. We'll start right up front here. Uh, they've redesigned this front cap and it is absolutely gorgeous. You take a look, you have the big window on there. I showed you that when we were inside. And not only does that look great, but again, it's very functional. It gives a lot of natural light being able to come in there. And you'll also see you have LED lights across the top and interwoven right in here. And again, that gives it a really nice aesthetic at night. You have a mirror right over here. So when you're backing up, it is nice and easy to hook up your tow vehicle. Let's go ahead and take a quick look underneath. We'll open up this front storage compartment here. And you can see right in here, uh, one of the things I like they've done, they put your spare tire in here. A lot of times you just don't have a, a lot of great uh, things to put in here. And I like the fact they put the tire there, it's out of the way and it stays nice and clean. So when you do need to use it, you'll know it's in good shape. Over to the side there is your battery box. Now granted, we have our battery pack hooked up to it for power, but uh, that big gray guy obviously won't be in there. You'll also see they have good cable management. You know, it's all tucked over into a corner there and everything else is nice and clean. If we take a look right down below, this unit does have auto level. So you just touch a button, it levels itself out. Again, something you don't see on, uh, often on your mid profile fifth wheels. So I really like the fact that they installed it here on the Cougar. Right over to the side, we'll open up your propane compartment. This is one of two. You have a 30 pound tank on this side, another 30 pound tank on the opposite side. Moving back a little bit further here, we get into the pass-through. Now this one is strut supported. You'll see they have a slide here, so obviously it can't go all the way up. But they do have the strut, so it keeps itself right there. And you can see that is nice and open in there. You have a light over here, so you're able to see at night. Then right down below that, you have your uh, TV connection. So if you do want an outside TV, you have the bracket right there. And then next to it uh, is your cable uh, outlet. Right on the outside, double electrical outlet here. Need to plug anything in, that's the place to do it. Large power awning. This does cover both doors. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And underneath that is an LED light strip. Simply flip a switch to have your light at night. Two entrances and exits, as I showed you when we were inside. Both of them have three aluminum steps. The great thing about aluminum is it won't rust. So you know these are going to be great looking steps for the life of the RV. You also have grip strips on there. So if it is raining, you know, it uh, has some dew in the morning, things like that, you'll still have good grip. And with your foldable easy grab handle here, it ensures you have excellent control when entering or exiting the RV. Underneath the awning right over here above this window, you see two exterior speakers. Those are controlled by that multimedia center unit I had showed you inside, but they are Bluetooth capable, that multimedia center is, so that way, you can sit right here underneath your awning, you know, relax in the shade with your chairs and be able to connect to that and control your music from right out here. If we take a look at the wheels, you have beautiful aluminum alloy wheels. Those again, aren't going to rust out on you. Less chance for any kind of corrosion. And right in between, you can see the suspension system. This is the Road Armor uh, Trail Air Suspension System from LCI. Does an excellent job of taking out a lot of those bumps while going down the road. Also underneath, one of the things you can't really see is this one does have a fully in enclosed and heated underbelly. So that way if you're camping late into the season, as long as you're running the furnace, it's blowing that hot air down below. You don't have to worry about your tanks or anything freezing up on you. And there's a layer of astrofoil in here as well. They put it underneath 
on the floor, they put it on the bottom of the slides to ensure you have excellent insulation. And again, make sure you're nice and toasty in those colder months. As I had mentioned, this is the second entrance right here. You can see the three steps. Now, it appears that this step is really high, but that's just because we have a big downward slant here uh, in the parking lot. But again, it is nice and easy to uh, normally to climb up in there. On the back of the 367, you'll see the unit does come equipped with a cargo rack. I really like when manufacturers do this for a couple of reasons. Uh, the first and obvious one is the fact that it's just very useful to have. You can have 225 pounds on here evenly distributed. You have the bar here that can fold up as well so you can utilize this as a bike rack. But the other reason I really like it and a lot of people don't know this is that if you attach anything to the bumper on a lot of manufacturers, they will void the warranty on your entire RV. But by having it already pre-installed by the manufacturer, you know you don't have to worry about that. And it, again, does give you that extra storage space. Right here is your ladder so you can climb up on the roof. As with any RV, you know, you always want to get up on the roof at least once or twice a year just for basic uh, examination in there. But the advantage of having one mounted here is means that you don't have to bring one with you. You'll also see up there right in the center above your rear window is backup camera prep. You know, this is a pretty decent size fifth wheel. If you want backup camera, this makes it a lot less expensive to have it installed. It's basically a plug and play. Everything is pre-wired, which again is a big savings for you. Right here on the off door side is your convenience center. You'll see the majority of your hookups are right here. Uh, starting up top, you have a light in case you're getting in there at night. You see your outside shower with both hot and cold water access, water heater bypass, as well as winterization right over here. So it's nice and easy to winterize this unit, which is very important. Your city water inlets here, black tank flush directly beneath that. You'll see over on the side, you have your battery disconnect. Quickly kills all power to the coach, so you don't have to mess with your battery constantly. Satellite inlet here, cable inlet up top. And then you also have solar prep. So if you want solar, you simply have to buy the panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. You'll also notice right in here, that is your auto level control. So again, you see the auto level button, you just touch that, the coach will level itself out, makes things super easy. Lastly, right outside here is your uh, fresh water fill for your tanks. So if you want to fill your tank, that is the place you do it. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the all new Cougar 367 FLS. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker. And for more information, please visit rv.campingworld.com.